And welcome back to Trojan Sports Now and welcome into our interview segment. Today we're joined by softball pitcher Claire Graves. Claire, thanks for joining us on the show today. And uh, I heard you guys just got back from Boca Raton, Florida from the weekend. And how'd that tournament go? Oh, thanks for having me. And we had a lot of fun down there. Uh, it was nice to get down there and get away from the cold weather a little bit. And I think one day when we played, it was like 85 degrees, and the field was surrounded by palm trees, so that was awesome. <laughs> and, yeah, we went 3-2, and two, so not too bad. And uh, you guys finally got the season started. How, how excited was that? I mean, were you for that? Yeah, it was, it was very exciting because a lot of our preseason stuff that we do is scrimmages. We do at least one a week, maybe even more than that. And so it kind of gets old playing against each other all the time, so we were definitely excited to play against a different opponent. And then for you, I mean, this is your sophomore season, but you, you got the ball on opening day. I mean, what, what was that like? Um, I was very excited for sure. Uh, I remember last year I also got the ball for the first game of the year, and so I'm just, I don't really get nervous anymore in my place. I was just excited and just ready to go. And so since you said you actually got the ball last year too, I mean, that, that made your freshman year. I mean, you, got a, you, you pitched a lot your freshman year. Mm -hmm and then you get the ball on opening day and then you get the ball again this year. I mean, what kind of confidence is, does, that, does that give you? Um, it just, it, I guess it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like my teammates and my coaches have confidence in me more than just like confidence in myself. And so it's just a great feeling knowing that I have my team behind me, that they feel comfortable playing behind me on opening day. And then, uh, I mean, you guys, you had last season, you guys, uh, a tremendous out offensive output and then this year you guys have started out well you're three and two but I mean, you guys you guys played a lot of games for over a three-day span and so uh, what what are the expectations what are the hopes for this year um, yeah I definitely think that we have a strong offense this year as well um, I don't know if we'll necessarily be as much of like a powerful team but we definitely have some hitters in the lineup that they're just going to put the ball in play no matter what and they're definitely going to make something happen and then when you're in the circle and those guys those girls are out there hitting bombs over the over the wall <laughs> I mean, what kind of confidence does that give you when you're going out there spinning it? Yeah, it definitely makes it a lot less stressful for me. I can just kind of relax and just know that my offense has got, got my back. Okay, and uh, I mean, you, I heard you say earlier you're from Gatson, Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so uh, that's from northern, I'm from southern Alabama, so mm -hmm. I don't know much about northern Alabama. Yeah. Uh, so what was it like growing up uh, in Gatson? Um, of course, I was surrounded by softball. I think I started playing when I was seven or eight. But um, Gadsden, I'm, I'm technically from Southside, Alabama. It's a very small town. And so it's a very like close, family-like atmosphere everywhere that you go there. And that's what Troy reminds me a lot of, like from that aspect of it. And so that's why I feel so comfortable here at Troy, because it does remind me of my small town hometown. And what about your teammates? Uh, what, kind of, what kind of sisterhood or what kind of family do you, what kind of bonds do you guys share on that team? Yeah, we're definitely a very, very close team this year. Like, just earlier today, I posted a picture on Instagram saying, like, come out tomorrow and watch me and my best friends on the field because that truly is how I feel. I feel like we are just best friends and sisters, and they're going to have my back no matter what, on or off the field, or just they're all awesome. And then what's it like? I mean, you were, you were coming in last year as a new player, and you guys had some more new players come in this year. What, I mean, what kind of adjustments do you guys – uh, bring upon them to kind of foster them into the new Troy family? Um, yeah, me and um, Kaylee and Steph, we talked about this a lot because those are like two of my uh, closest friends. And we talked about how we just really wanted them to come into the program and just really feel like welcomed. And I compare it a lot to my high school team because my high school team, we all grew up playing with each other for years and years. And so we were all best friends as well. And so I just really wanted to incorporate that aspect, that aspect of it this year and just make them feel like family and just feel welcome right off the bat. And I think if you ask any of them, they'd definitely say that we made them feel welcome this year. So I'm very happy that we accomplished that. And how much of the relationship building comes off the, the field? How much of that does it take place? Um, it, it does a lot. Like, I remember at the beginning of like the last semester when they were first here, we invited them over to dinner all the time or bonfires and things like that. We just wanted to, you know, let them know that we're here for them. If they ever need anything, just make them feel as comfortable as possible because it's their first time being away from home, so it is a big adjustment for them. So we just wanted to make it as easy for them as we could. Uh, what kind of impact, I mean, does Coach Beth have an impact on that too? Does she kind of push you guys to, to grow uh, with each other in relationships? Uh, she, yeah, she definitely did challenge um, all the returners because we do have so many newcomers this year. She really challenged us to, like, to make them feel welcome and for it to just, for, because we have a lot of newcomers and so people look at that as a negative sometimes. And so we didn't really want that to affect us on the field at all. And I don't think it has. And, uh, so, 
with those with those newcomers, I mean, your sophomores. Well, which mm -hmm. which one of them do you see the most promise in uh, that could probably explode over her next four years at Troy? Um, well, Katie Webb definitely had an awesome weekend this weekend, and um, I actually she's actually who I passed the gloves on to this week because she just goes out there and she just plays the game. Like you can tell that she doesn't think about anything. She just has fun with it. She loves what she does and she just has an awesome personality too off the field. Yeah, and talk about uh, the passing of the gloves. I mean, what kind of tradition has that, has that been for you at Troy? Um, it started um, Coach Mullen's first year here and um, it's just supposed to represent just like that you're, that you're willing to go out there and fight for your teammates. Just give it everything that you have and just to never give up. And so at the once we get back from Christmas break in the springs, we all sign the gloves, and then the coaches give it off to the first person. Then after that, each week we just pass it on to whoever we think has been fighting the best that week. So your bond on the team is growing. You guys just had Fan Day mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. I mean, what is it? What is it? What's it like to have the support at the Choice Softball Complex that you guys get from the fans? Yeah, it's awesome how many fans you always have come out. That's what we've been talking about, too, this week, is that we're so excited about playing at home because we know that all of our family is going to be here, all of our friends, all of our fellow student athletes, and it's just awesome to, to feel that. And I think that also goes back to the small town atmosphere because everyone kind of knows everyone here at Troy, and so we all want to go and support each other. Okay, we're not going to step away from softball for a little <laughs> bit and get to know Claire Graves, uh, the person in Claire. Growing up, when, or we're going to start off here, when you're not playing softball, mm -hmm. Uh, what, what are you what are you usually doing? Um, I don't really do much, I guess. Just kind of just like relaxing at the house anytime, any chance I get. And I definitely like to go shopping. I mean, I'm a girl, so I like to shop anytime I can. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, any, any movie watching? Do you watch movies often? or? Um, I really don't watch movies that much. I'm, a, I'm not really into Netflix like I know a lot of people are right now. I just, I like listening to music, I guess. I'll just kind of hang out in my room and just listen to music. <laughs> Uh, what's your what's your favorite genre of music? Um, probably like hip hop and rap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's what's hot on your playlist right now? What when you when you pick up your phone? What's the first song that you uh, usually plan? Well, Migos just dropped a new album, so I'm definitely listening to one of those songs. <laughs> <laughs> Culture, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know, just Claire Graves from from Gaston, Alabama. Did you ever could, did you ever see yourself playing on this on this type of stage at Troy? Um, I knew that I always wanted to play college softball, and I kind of had a little bit of a setback in high school. I had I tore my labrum in my shoulder, which is kind of a big deal being a pitcher, having a messed up shoulder. And so that kind of set me back with recruiting. My recruiting story is very interesting, but I guess long story short, um, Troy ended up, it was very, very late my senior year, offering me. And I came here on my first visit, and I just fell in love with the campus. And so I committed here that day, and that's definitely the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of challenges were you faced? You just mentioned the labrum injury. I just, I've never had to experience that myself, but I love to hear other people's stories about um, how, they, how they got through it. For you personally, how did you, how'd you get through that? Um, I'm, it was my junior year. I did it during volleyball season, actually, because in high school I played softball and volleyball, and I threw the javelin. And so I think the combination of all those just kind of wore my shoulder down for sure. And so my, I remember my junior season for softball, we didn't really, we didn't do so great. I was just like DH that year. I don't think I pitched until maybe like once we got to regionals and we didn't make it out of regionals that year. And so just like that summer and that whole like off season leading up to my senior season, I was just really, really pushed myself a lot because I was very let down my junior year. I felt like I let my team down because I couldn't, participate as much as I wanted to and so well, I just came back my senior season and we had a, a very successful year we run it up in state so not quite as good as I'd hoped for but we had a pretty great year <laughs> it's, it's never too bad to, to, to run her up in state I mean it the only thing that can be better than that is win it but yeah <laughs> do you do you have any siblings um, I have two stepbrothers and then I have a half brother. Do they play sports? Uh, yes, my half brother actually he played football at JU, who we're playing this weekend, Jacksonville. So that should be interesting. Talking a little smack to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, are your brothers older or, or younger? Uh, yes, they're all older than me. My uh, my half brother is 26, and then my two stepbrothers. One of them's my age. I think he's 20, and the other one's 21 or 22. <laughs> it's not bad. Not yeah. bad. Final question. Final question. When you're with your family, when you're with your brothers, uh, what what do you guys like to do? What what's your favorite thing to do when you're with your family? 
Um, whenever, I know me and my mom, <laughs> whenever we were at the house, we always were watching game shows. So we love watching the Game Show Network and Family Feud, for sure. That's our favorite show. And just anything, spending time together. Because, like, now, going off to college, you're not around your family as much. And so you just cherish any time that you have. And you're not really as picky about what you're doing. <laughs> as long as you're just getting to be there and just be with them, then I'm usually happy. Well, there you have it. There you have it, everyone. Claire Graves. Uh, Claire Graves, thank you for joining us on the show today, and good luck to you and the Trojan softball team this weekend as you guys play in your tournament. And thank you for uh, tuning in. Stick around for more Trojan sports now, coming your way.